hello guys welcome to this channel in this video i will show you how i am modeling this ice coffee can okay let's start it first open up your blender new file general press a to select everything x to delete go to the front view press shift a image reference add your image reference adjust your image reference over here change the opacity by 0.5 and press shift a mesh at a cylinder move it up here Tap to edit mode, scale it down like this. So Alt Z to see the X-ray view. Move this way down. Over here. And over here, move this way up by pressing G Z to move it on the Z axis. It's like this. Press Ctrl R, L look at, put it over here. And down here like this select this edge scale it down and select this edge move this way down a little bit press ctrl b to bevel it increase the segment select this press p yep gz move it down like this okay at the bottom view select this edge Press I to insert, scale it like this, press Alt T, extrude face along normal, extrude it inside like this, okay, that's it, press Ctrl R to add a loop cut over here, and add a loop cut again over here, S to scale it, just like this, press G Z, move it up like this, and select this edge, Press Ctrl B to bevel it like this. We bevel it in the wrong face. Just press P and move like this. Shade out the smooth. Now let's do the top. But first, just move your reference image. Press G Y. Move it back here and select the cylinder. Tap to the edit mode. Select this H. Press E to insert. Insert like this. Okay. Press Alt P. Exit face along normal. Extrude it inside like this. Okay. Go to the edge mode by pressing 2 on your keyboard, select all of this edge, press Ctrl B to bevel it, like this. Now, let's do the top part, just go to the top view, press Shift A, image reference, add your image reference, Alt Z to see the X-ray view, adjust your image reference, basically it down, just take this, and select this object, tap to the edit mode, press Free on your keyboard, so we change it to the face mode. Select this face, just press P, selection. Now we have two separate objects. We're going to modeling this. Go to the top view, tap to the edit mode. Alt Z to see the X-ray view. Press 1 on your keyboard. Press A, select everything. E to insert. Insert like this. Maybe we need to adjust our image reference. Over here. Yep. Okay. Tap to the edit mode. Alt Z. Okay, it's it's perfect. Adjust this little bit like this and press E to insert again like this and insert again over here. Yeah, and select all these vertices. Press X to delete the vertices and the modifier, mirror modifier. Don't forget the clipping. Click over here on cake so we can see the mirror and click here move it over here the same over here here make sure you follow this object like inside here move here and here over here move it here Just like this, and yeah, like this. Adjust this little bit, adjust this one. So, over here, select this vertices, hold control, and click this vertices. Press E to extrude, extrude it on the x axis. Just meet them at the middle, merge them like this. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Move it here. Select these vertices. 
press F to fill, press Ctrl R, area another loop cut over here, and this vertices, press F to fill, over here, F to fill, select this vertices, press F to fill, and over here, press F to fill. Okay, select this vertices, yeah, move this way down on the Y axis, this one too, over here. adjust it over here move it on the x-axis this one just click G X move it over here we need to move this way up a little bit on the y-axis it's like this just a little bit okay and next is select this face select all of this face press I to insert press B insert like this yep and after you insert like this press GZ move it up just a little bit like this let's do over here back to the vertice mode by pressing one on your keyboard we need another loop cut over here press ctrl R like this select this vertices move it on the y-axis like this and this one too move this way up and this one press ctrl r add another loop cut this one move it over here yeah something like this i guess yep and go to the face move select all of this face Press I to insert, insert it like this, and select all of this again. What to do is just I to insert again, like this, and press GZ, move it up, like this. Maybe move it way up like this. Okay. Over here, select this vertices. And just follow the image reference. Move it down. This one maybe we need to move it down over here. And over here. Like this. Okay. Go to the face mode, select all of this face, press I to insert, and move it down by pressing G, Z, move it down, just like this. Add subdivision modifier by pressing Ctrl 2 on your keyboard. Now we have something like this. Okay, next, press C, A, mess, add a plan, move this plane up over here. Go to the top view, tap to the edit mode, Alt Z to see the extra right view, scale this down like this, we need to subdivide it, select all these vertices, press X to little vertices, add a modifier, mirror modifier, check this one, and move this way up, over here, yep, like this, just do like this, maybe turn this down a little bit, okay, Press E to extrude, extrude on the x-axis, like this, and down here select all of this edge, press E to extrude, extrude it on the y-axis, down here, select this vertices, move it up here, move this one up, like this, select all of these vertices, press E to extrude, extrude it on the y-axis, up here, and select this vertices again, move this up, this one, yeah, like this, and select all of these vertices again, press E to extrude it on the Y axis, select this, press S, Y, 0, move it down maybe over here, extrude it again, now oh, we forgot the clipping, don't forget your clipping, yep, 
let's see okay it's clipping already and move this up just follow the image reference okay and over here press ctrl r we need another loop cut over here yep and move this way down and go to the face mode select all of this face right click circle if you don't have this option just go to the edit reference just type here loop so just install this loop tools save preference right click loop tools circle that's it and over here just x delete the face this one delete the face tap to the object mode add a subdivision modifier by pressing ctrl 2 on your keyboard and add another modifier solidify move it up here increase the thickness just like this shade smooth move it down over here and the last part press shift a just add a cylinder scale it down move your cylinder up here tap to the edit mode alt z to see the x-ray view scale it down okay scale it on the z-axis just like this and over here at this face press i to insert just a little bit add the superficial modifier of this down shade smooth okay that's it select this plan select this one select this one press ctrl p objective transform select this part and over here ctrl p objective transform so move it like this next part is add a texture but we don't need this image reference just delete okay open this window expand at the bottom over here change render to cycle if you have graphic card just use gpu i'm only using cpu and change this to 0.1 and sample i only use 50 for the render color management i'm using filmic and high contrast over here change it to the render view disable this and this select this and disable to here press t so you can see well over here and over here we need another window just change this to uv editor and this one change it to shader editor this is my setup for texturing press ctrl s to save your project and i will show you how i create the labels like the uv maps just go on google just type canva after you on the canva just type label it's free to use I'm just using the free stuff maybe this one and select this one yeah it's free customize this template like that delete this one delete you can just customize the picture or anything like you want and okay i'm gonna using this one and share download you can change this to gpg png pdf or anything else but i'm just using png and download after you download it back to our blender over here new material at the principal bsdf go to the edit preference add-ons just type not wrangle install the not wrangle says preference and at the principal bsdf just hold ctrl t at the image texture node just open and found your label it still look like this tap to the edit mode over here go to the back view select all of this edge press u mark sim and select this edge press u mark sim going up at the top over here you mark sims select all of this face we need to select all this face too yep okay select that and over here 
press A to select everything. We need to scale it on the Y axis by pressing S, Y. Adjust your image reference. Adjust this like this. And what's next to do is we have the material over here and we need to do something over here. It should be a metallic. Just name this one first label and go to the material property, add a new material and new material over here, name it metal and over here, don't change anything yet. Just press Ctrl I to invert and assign this one. So it will have two different material in one object. Just turn down the roughness, increase the metal. Like this. Yeah, I guess it's good. Select this object, add a metal material. And select this one, this one, this one at the last. Press Ctrl L, link material. Yep, it's good. Maybe make it a little bit darker. Yeah. Next. Over here, change this to the label. We need to do something, just make it more little bit realistic. Put this way up. Press Shift A. Action. Press Shift A. Just search for noise texture over here and make it much more bigger so you can see and click the vector connect vector to vector connect this color to the roughness I guess just we don't need over here yep so we can see much more clearly maybe change this to the viewport shading okay press shift A we need uh, brightness and contrast just click over here and turn down the bright just a little bit this yeah and that's it that's how I made this ice coffee can and that's how I read the label at the canva thank you for watching